people use all sorts of tricks to get around the spam filters, which means I have to individually click on them, read on them, realize that they're spam, and often block them. I shouldn't have to set reminders myself. AI should do it for me, and now it does. AI is actually reading the message and based on clues and context, it can determine whether a follow-up is needed. Any email that is found to be a pitch just goes straight into the archive and I don't have to see it at all. These are surprising, often counterintuitive ways of not just getting through your inbox faster, but even making it more enjoyable to do so. Let me show you how that's possible using superhuman AI. My favorite email app that I've been using for years. Stay until the end for a special bonus. It's incredible how often when you email someone asking for something, you often don't get a response, even if it's someone within your own organization. But here's the thing, that follow-up message that you write, it's generic. It's just a standard message to get your email back to the top of their inbox, which means it's the perfect candidate for AI to do that for you. Let me show you how this works. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to hit Command K start typing auto drafts, hit enter, and make sure that this option in the settings right down here is enabled. Once it is, go ahead and exit out or hit escape. Next, I'm going to hit the forward slash button to start a search and then say in colon sent because I wanna see messages that I've sent to other people. Here's one right here that I sent to a collaborator and friend named Bonnie. And the last time that I sent her a message looks like it was on March 11th which was two days ago. And you know what? I didn't even have to do anything. You can see right down here that Superhuman AI has already drafted a reply, which includes her name, includes the fact that I'm asking for her to commit to attending a mastermind retreat, which I am hosting in May. And this is exactly the line I've been using is let me know if there's anything I can do to help make it work because sometimes I know people need special accommodations or certain answers to questions. This is essentially exactly what I would have written, except I don't have to sit down and spend precious minutes of my time to come up with this fairly generic and, and not really creative piece of writing. So this is pretty straightforward, and I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Would you trust AI to follow up on some of your emails for you? There's another aspect of following up besides just writing the email, which is remembering to follow up in the first place. That's half the battle. What else can we be forgetting? This is the first one of my long-standing complaints, which is I've always felt that I shouldn't have to set reminders myself. AI should do it for me, and now it does. Kevin! If we go back into the reminder settings, you'll notice it right here. And what it's asking is which kinds of emails should it remind you to follow up on? I have all messages selected. You can also do all messages with an external recipient. So you wouldn't be reminded to follow up with anyone in your company or on your team, or you can turn it off completely. You can also choose how many days should pass before you want it to remind you, at what time you want it to remind you. So if there's a certain time of day that you tend to check emails, emails, or if you'd like it first thing in the morning, you can do that. And you can also choose if you want a reminder only if they haven't replied, or you want a reminder regardless. And then finally, you have an option here to count only weekdays in the number of days before it reminds you, or to count weekends as well. AI is actually reading the message and based on clues and context, it can determine whether a follow-up is needed and then set the auto reminder based on that decision. So if I do another search and go back into my sent emails and scroll down a little bit, you can see right here in green writing, it's determined that my email to Julie requires a follow-up and if I click on it, like we saw before, it has already composed the follow-up based on the context in the thread. All I have to do is make any edits if I would like, and if not, just hit send using the mouse or command enter. Honestly, we're approaching the point where AI knows which emails need a follow-up, knows when to do that follow-up, writes the follow-up for you. Soon we'll just have to sit at our computer and just press buttons like a multiple choice exam and it will do all our communication for us, it seems like. This has to do with my second very long-standing complaint, which is the number of cold pitches and offers and random 
cold emails that I receive every single day. The thing is that typical spam filters can't catch them. They use all these tricks to get around the spam filters, which means I have to individually click on them, read on them, realize that they're spam, and then delete them and often block them. And this is another example where AI and its ability to understand context is so powerful. AI can kind of like a personal assistant go through my emails before me and just weed out or in this case label the cold pitches to see how this works you'll want to hit command k start typing auto labels and you'll see that there are four built-in default labels that they've created one for all marketing and promotional messages one for news and newsletters one for pitches which is the one i was referring to and one for social network and online community messages so these come by default you'll notice there's nothing to turn on if i hit escape you can already see some of the emails such as this newsletter such as this pitch, are already labeled just based on the context of the message. If I click over here to my other inbox, you can see there's marketing emails, there's more pitches, there's news. It kind of tells me even before I've even clicked on a message what to expect. Now, that's the basic built-in functionality of auto labels, but you can really go much further with custom labels. So I'll go ahead and do Command K, start typing auto labels, hit enter. And as you can see right here, there's a button that says new auto label. And this is incredibly powerful. What this allows you to do is to create a new label, a new category of email, have the AI learn what that kind of email looks like and sounds like, and then start labeling it from this point forward. The example that comes to mind is emails related to a mastermind retreat, which I'm hosting in May. So I'll hit tab. And here is where I'm going to describe emails related to the entrepreneurial mastermind retreat, which is called Wholesome Weekend. You want to give it as much specific terminology and language as possible. So I'll go ahead and click create. You can see down here it says auto label created and it will take a few minutes to basically go through your recent messages of the last couple of weeks and retroactively label any that meet those criteria. And there you go takes a few minutes. You can see it's going further and further back in time, looking for emails that match the description. But the important thing is that going forward, all emails related to this important timely event that's coming up will be labeled in this way. Now, there's one more aspect of labels, one more way of using them that I want to show you, which is called auto archive. So with the example of emails related to my mastermind retreat, those were more important than average. So I want to keep those in my important inbox. But many times you want to label emails that are not important. In fact, ones you don't even want to see at all. In my example, that's those cold pitches. I really don't want those to be on my radar at all. I want them automatically archived, which is exactly the purpose of auto archive. So let's go into the settings and start typing auto archive. And you can see all you have to do is check one of these boxes. So I'm gonna check pitches, hit save. And now from this moment on, any email that is found to be a pitch just goes straight into the archive and I don't have to see it at all. And don't worry, there are safeguards in place. So it won't auto archive emails from anyone you've corresponded with before or anyone within your company or organization. You also have the option of automatically sending certain kinds of emails to other places. For example, if I hit Command K and go into split settings, splits are superhuman's name for the different categories of inbox, the different kinds of inboxes that you have. So for example, I have a split where anything that I want to read, for example, content or emails, gets automatically routed there so I can look at it in a specific time and place. And if I click this gear icon, you can see that adding an auto label is an option for what kinds of emails go to the reading split inbox. Here's what I mean by that. If I click right here, I can say marketing emails. Now, all emails that are labeled marketing as determined by the AI will automatically be included in this split inbox called reading. So let me show you what that looks like. If I hit save and then exit out of here and go over to the reading tab up here at the top, every email, as you can see here, that has been labeled marketing will show up here and not in my important inbox. And that's it. Those are the brand new features of Superhuman AI. This is basically like having a personal assistant that kind of does a first pass on your email, doing all the easy or obvious or generic stuff. 
so that you can really focus on the parts that are the most interesting, the most rewarding, and that add the most value. If any of this sounded interesting or useful, I encourage you to give Superhuman a try using the link in the description, which gives you your first month free. And if you'd like to know more about the many other features that Superhuman offers, check out this video.